One important aspect of system engineering is to think about what do you really need your system to do before you figure out how it's going to do that. We have a limited set of resources when we are building a spacecraft, when we are operating a spacecraft, and those resources include money, uh, how much time we have before we need to launch, or how much time we have when we're operating it, uh, the mass, how much power do our instruments have, and how much do we need to set aside for heaters to keep an instrument alive in whatever the conditions are that the spacecraft is going to experience. We have to consider where we're sending our spacecraft. If you're sending your spacecraft to Mars, and you're going to be on the surface of Mars, you have to think about what, are, what kinds of terrain is it going to drive over, what is the temperature it's going to experience, what's the radiation environment it's going to experience. Any portion of the spacecraft as it's going through its design may realize that it needs more than what it thought. That team will come and say, you know, we need more of something and then we have to figure out um, is there a different solution that doesn't involve needing that resource? Um, we, we have to do a trade-off of what's the pri what do we lose if we don't make that change? What do we gain if we do make that change? And that is a big discussion. It can be a low-level conversation between a subsystem of the spacecraft. It can go all the way up to the people who are in charge of the whole mission and figuring out um, how, it, how much of what resources are still available and what do we predict we will need uh, as we move out of development and into actual building and testing and then launching our spacecraft.